Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And peace and grace be upon the house of David, that by Yahweh thou would die which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double honest of the apostles of great millstone, who I learned this truth from, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barakatha, Bashim Rakak to the um, sincere listeners, man, the uh, men, women, and children that's staying in the Holy Spirit and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability day in and day out. All right, so um, as the title reads, only an evil has come. You know, and I was just meditating, you know, upon the the, the current news, all right? You know, the, the world news, you know, uh, local news, national news, everything, man. Everything that when you just go, you know, scroll to through your, you know, articles, your apps that you have, you know, as watchmen, you know, that's what we're supposed to be doing, okay? Watching for the signs. You know, everything is just, um, you know, evil, okay? You go into the word evil, it means uh, bad time, all right? Eve, meaning time. All right, and ill meaning bad. All right, everything is just everything that you're reading about or you're seeing is all bad times, man. There's nothing good going on, you know, on, on the world stage. All right, um, one of the articles I read was about how you know the uh, we know which is a real hot commodity right now, the whole trade wars with uh, U.S. and um, China. All right, they're saying that you know this is going to actually put a a, a real strain on the American US consumers, okay? And also, it can, uh, you know, dial back, um, you know, employment in America. Now, here it is. This guy Trump is supposed to be, you know, on his US uh, protection, protectionalist, protectionalism, but what he's doing is creating more, um, you know, havoc for uh, Americans, man, all right? And the, the American people are, are, are slowly but surely starting to feel that all right and and these these tariffs are just becoming you know increasing more and more they're not they're not going backwards all right they're actually getting you know more billions and billions of do dollars in tariffs all right you had um what else what i was i was just uh reading oh uh, you have you know the pestilences going on i believe it was in illinois and in uh, uh, uh iowa they say like a hundred people are gotten sick from you know some type of bacteria that was in a uh mcdonald's uh salad okay now you know brothers and sisters that's been in this truth you know we know to stay stay away stay the hell away from you know anything you know that that mcdonald's uh offers man okay anything that mcdonald's offers you know uh we said we we have the, the understanding that you know that fast food shit is garbage okay and see that right there is how uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 comes into play, man. All right, because this world doesn't tell you, you know, uh, um, to stay away from fast food, fast food. No, on the contrary, this world tells you, you know, to uh, keep consuming it. All right, you know, it's convenient. Uh, uh, you know, take your kids there, take your dog there, take the whole family there, L breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But because we have the truth, because we have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which the Isaiah 33 6 and says, all right. For wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be the stability of our times. All right, so we we won't be we wouldn't be uh, uh, people that's gonna that that would have gotten affected by that um, you know those salads and McDonald's, man. All right, you see how this this wisdom, you know, of, of the Lord, how it actually practically you know operates for our benefit, man. All right, we're actually benefiting from being in this truth because we wouldn't we're not gonna be. One of those people that get sick from that McDonald's uh, salad, man. All right. You had um, over here in Jersey, this guy went crabbing, right? And he had a, he got um, a flesh, flesh, flesh eating bacteria. All right. He went crabbing. Now we know that what? We, uh, crabs are unlawful to eat. So we wouldn't be doing something like that. We wouldn't be crabbing. We wouldn't be, you know, going to the depths of the sea to try to uh, get, get food, all right, to, to, to either, you know, sell or eat, all right? So uh, a, a man of the Lord wouldn't be caught getting that bacteria from, from that way, man, 
all right? But this world is starting to get the plagues upon it, man, as the Lord said, that will come, all right? So this is Ezekiel 7, verse 5. It says, Thus saith Yahweh power, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. See, only evil is coming to this place. There's no peace. There's no prosperity. There's no, you know, make America great again. None of that, man. It's only evil that's coming to this place, all right? And we're starting to see the fruits of, of the Lord's uh, uh, working, man, all right? Because the scripture tells you, get that too, in the book of Psalms, Bear with me one second. Park the car. Uh, hey, man, we almost out of here, man. We ain't got to be fucking going to work for this devil, you know, real soon, man. Hey, this economy is about to collapse, man. Ain't nobody going to be working, all right? And nobody's going to be working real soon. Uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 126. It's a lot. Uh, go back. Uh, Psalm chapter 119 and one, I believe it's 126. So let me just see real quick. Psalms 119 and 126. It is time for thee, Yahweh, to work, for they have made void thy law. All right. So it's time for the Lord to work, man. And that's what's going on, man. That's why all these evils are happening throughout the throughout the four corners of the earth, man. The Lord is working, man. Scripture tells you that it's the very same time that the highest will begin to visit the world that he made. How is he visiting the world that he made? With the famine, the pestilence, okay? The 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 racial tension, which is uh which is, you know, getting back to the Jim Crow uh eras, all right? Jim Crow law and, and that's not even just here in America, man. You got racial tension happening over there in South Africa, over there in France, over there in the UK. All right. The scripture tells you that there was going to be a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. All right. These tariffs is causing uh, uh, America's so-called allies to become enemies. All right. He had one of the um, I forgot exactly which country he's from and over there in the, in the, in the Europe, in Europe. But the guy said to Trump, you know, um, you know, b basically be nice to your allies because you don't have uh, because you don't have many. <laughs> All right. And this is supposed to be an ally talking to Trump, talking to Trump, which represents America, which America is supposed to be, you know, the head of honcho. But you got these other countries looking at America, you know, as as uh, as they're on the same playing field, man. Why? Because the scripture tells you that um, the weak, the uh, the weak, let the weak say I am strong. All right. That's a prophecy. And that weak saying I am strong is going to come to pass because of what? Because it's prophesied that an evil time is going to come regarding uh, war, man. All right. Let me get this uh, scripture in the book of Thessalonians. Book of Thessalonians. All right. We know what time it is, man. The ones who are, who are watching, you know, giving diligence, you know, uh, uh, praying as the Lord told us to do. Watch, therefore, pray. You know, uh, pray. Oh, it says uh, the Lord said, watch. Therefore, watch and pray always, man. First uh, Thessalonians five verse one. It says. But of the times and of and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai so cometh as a thief in the night. All right. So hey, we are seeing these times. So that's why the first scripture I pulled out what it says, an evil and only an evil has come, because that's the season that we're in, man. All right. And it's evident when you when you looking at everything that's going on, man, in the in the world. Okay? The stock markets is is up and down of uh, uh, volatile. All right. That's not that's not something that's hey, you got these economists, you know, the the, the, the keepers of the door. <laughs> they're they all talking about we're 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 going uh, head first into a, a recession. OK, which is going to be worse than a Great Depression because it's really going to be a depression. OK, and you try to, you know, try to smooth it over. And say it's going to be a, a recession, but it's not, man, because the, old, the last recession back in 2008, 2009, still the problem still hasn't been fixed, man. They just put a bandaid over an open wound. OK. So that's going to be evil times. Once again, you got these pestilences. I just read another article saying that there's a super, you know, that there's a, a new, a new sexually transmitted infection or disease that can become a super bug, man. And it said that over there, I think it said about uh, 1% or 2% of the population in the UK, uh, um, they already have this disease, which can cause women, you know, to become infertile. All right. And um, are, you know, have their uterine, uh, uterus uh, inf uh, inflamed. All right. They're men, 
you know, their, 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 you know, reproductive system can become inflamed and basically it makes it uh, painful to have sex, man. Okay. Why is that? Because this place is not about, you know, uh, into, you know, uh, immoral sexual acts, man. Whether it's, you know, sodomy, all right, whether it's adultery, okay. All these, that's what this, that's what the, uh, this world promotes underneath the vibration of Esau, the devil. So the Lord is plaguing this place, man. Okay, he's plaguing the, the land of the place, the, the crops, all right, the food. He's plaguing the people, these superbugs, these pestilence, these flesh-eating bacteria. all right, the political realm. The, the Lord is plaguing the monetary system. All these things are an evil that's coming, man. Verse 3, it says, but for us, you know, verse for us, the ones that's in the know that's watching, it's not uh, uh, um, going to take us by surprise because we're watching, man. We know that evil days are, are fastly approaching, man. And that's why we got to stay, what, uh, prayed up, you, uh, you know, praying, you know, fasting if need be. In the scriptures, meditating upon Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, examine ourselves daily because we want to be covered, you know, during the wrath of the Lord, man. Okay? Because the only one that can cover us is the Lord. All right? Uh, verse 3 says, for when they shall say... Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. They shall not escape. All right, they shall not escape. What the evil, man? These people are not going to escape this evil. It's going to be like as a bear met them. All right, I'll get that also real quick. Whatever which way you're looking, it's going to be just evil, man. Okay, you're not going to be able to escape it. Um, it's a book of uh, Amos. Just bear with me one second. The book of Amos chapter 5. Book of Amos chapter 5 verse um, 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Or went into the, into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Okay? So, don't matter which way. You're not going to escape this if you're not covered by the by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You're not going to escape this wrath, the day of the Lord, man. The scripture tells you that the day of the Lord is dark and not light. That's the only ones that's going to escape it is the elect. All right? I'll get that too. The only ones that's going to escape it is the chosen, man, which we hope to be, which is why, hey, if you got this truth, man, this is the time to say, this is the time to, to, to go hard and to keep hold fast, man, because the Lord is about to bring. Everything that he said he's going to bring upon this wicked place, the evilnesses, man. You know, Lord willing, I'll get into some of those articles, you know, uh, in another video. But I just was meditating upon, man, every time we look, it's just nothing but evils going on in this in this, this world, man. And it's beautiful. You know, people might look at us and say, oh, you guys are crazy. Or you want just bad things to happen. Yeah, we want bad things to happen because this is a bad place, man. This is an evil society, an evil kingdom. And this kingdom must be destroyed, man. And the way the Lord is destroying it, it's going to put, it's going to knock all the pridefulness, all the, 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 the zombies, okay? All right, it's going to take, it's going to, everybody's going to get a, a rude awakening, man, because especially talking to Israelites, okay, because the Lord has sent out his hand, stretched forth his hand by way of the prophets to, you know, turn back, to tell Israel to turn back, but they don't want to listen. So the Lord going to wake you up regardless, man, and the way you're going to be woken up is by the evil, by the war, the evil, and the pestilence, man. Okay, hey, that's what we out here to do. The the prophets that been before me and before thee of old prophesied against both many countries and great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. Yeah, man, we the bearers of bad news. We the prophets of doom, man. <laughs> all right, as a uh, uh, Bush, you know, was it Bush? I believe Bush called us. All right, actually, it was the Pope, man. The Pope called us and Bush both called us prophets of doom, man. But what is doomed for this for this society? All right, and brightness and glory for the kingdom of Yahshua, man, when Yahweh Shai returns. All right, but this is uh, Isaiah, uh, 2nd Ezra 8, verse, uh, I'm going to start at 7. It says, 2nd verse is 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by the faith wherein ye have believed shall be preserved from the per said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them chosen them predestined them from the be from for me from the beginning the elect then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they and and they that has cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments so it's going to be a, it's a blessing to be in this truth man even though we got to go through the, the the furnace of affliction the lord going to save us man by our faith and by our works man okay 
by your faith and your works, you're going to be saved. But the rest, the evil that's coming, that's going to come, that's coming, you're going to be in a pitiful case by that, man. All right? Because you abuse the Lord's ways, man. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, I'm going to close it up there. Edifying it to the elect. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shalom. Only evil is coming to this place, man. Shalom.